Hi 3D Modelers, welcome to 3D Modeling Tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make uh, stairs and also we will do the railing of the stairs. We will decorate this with different tips. First I'm going to draw the basement of one step. And then I will get the push and pull tool to arrange its size. And after that I'm going to click three times to select them all and then right click to make it component. So because I will do any change and I want also it to be affected for the all the steps of the stairs. Okay. Next step is going to be to make a multi copies. First I'm going to select this by clicking once and then I will get the move tool by pressing M or you can select from here and hold on a control make sure your plus appears beside your cursor and place the duplication over the the previous step and after that how many of them you want let's say you want to place 11 sometimes I count these steps and I realize that the, they always use the 11 okay um, now here we go we have uh, 12 steps over here in our stairs and we have finished with steps only texture left we're gonna decorate by texturing and also we will add the railing now I'm going to draw the line for the railing and make sure the line is blue and it makes your line vertically alright and then I will continue and connect them as you see it applied this for all of the stairs and I'm going to connect them so when you apply this from here to there it will apply also for each and when you see all of them will be connected alright I can also take this for the left side of the stairs. Uh, I will use the move tool, hold down the control, and then place it right here. Hoppa. So as soon as you place it, will also paste for other parts because this is the, the component, and whatever you do for one, it applies for the all, uh, all components. And now I'm going to put there a circle. I'll set them 2.5. I want to make the size the same for each side. That's why I'm using a specific number. I will apply the 2.5 for the other side. And now I'm going to get my favorite tool. Follow me. And apply this circle through the path and it will apply this hole do the same thing for other side of the stairs and here we go we almost finished this project we will just do a couple of the changes by using these textures I will get this one and it's going to apply for all and after that I'm going to do a texture for the railing. I'm planning to get this one. Oops, we forgot the, to apply the texture from the other side. You can also put more stairs by duplicating this. Uh, select them all and then go to move tool, hold down a control and you will take this on top like this when it's on the blue line and I will move this a little bit to this part and I have to get this down and after that I'm going to get the rotation tool to rotate this and get the move tool again to 
place this like this, all right? And after that, I'm going to get a rectangle tool. And then use push and pull tool. And I can also take this little bit up. Get the um, move tool. I will get it up with the move tool. And also to apply the same color for this. And now, if you want to continue with this you all have to do copy paste and and rotate this around we have finished this project uh, I hope it was usable to understand how to make the stairs so, and in the following tutorial we will do a spiral stair and hope you see there thank you bye bye